Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another exciting Ruby video. In today's short snippet we are going to be ranking the semblances shown so far up to volume 6 ranked from weakest to strongest. Now I don't really like top 10 videos so we are going to do a top 11 video instead. Keep in mind a few rules. I will be excluding magical based abilities because hacks, that includes Maidens or just Salem's whole ability scheme, the Silver Eye abilities, and abilities that are solely due to their impressive application in combat. We are looking at raw power here folks, so let's get right down to it. Number 11 is Hazel's Semblance, Pain Immunity. Pain Immunity is straightforward. It allows him to completely negate the sensation of pain, which he utilizes in order to inject pure dust into himself, vastly increasing his destructive power and enabling him to use bursts of elements. Though as it deprives him of pain, it also deprives him of other sensations, which could be considered a drawback to its ability. The reason for its ranking being so low is obviously due to its nature, as well as being relatively useless without Hazel as the user. Number 10. Nora's Semblance, Electricity Absorption. Nora has the passive ability of creating and channeling electricity directly into her muscles to give her enhanced strength. However, in most cases, she needs to utilize an outside force to give her a significant power boost, making this semblance a relatively basic strength booth without that influence. Though it still has devastating effect and her power is undeniable. Unfortunately, she usually uses this ability strictly to break legs. Number 9 is Ruby Rose, her speed. Ruby's speed is shown as being nearly impossible to follow and carrying disastrous after effects if enough momentum is built up and Crescent Rose is in tow. However, the ability itself relies heavily on Ruby's fighting style, as without it, it would be useful for nothing more than a significant burst of speed. Number 8. Neopolitan Semblance Mirrors Neo has the ability to project physical illusions. She typically uses them for disguises or diversionary tactics, employing her incredible acrobatics and fighting ability in junction with them to make a deadly combination. However, as the illusions are typically small in scale, any large changes are shown to exhaust her. The ability still ranks relatively low due to this. Number 7. Emerald Semblance, Delusion Delusion is a considerably powerful ability. With one glance, she is capable of projecting images into a person's head, deluding them into seeing or experiencing things that are not actually happening. Though she is typically shown using this on one person at a time, she can use it on multiple targets, though with great strain, the side effects ranging from a headache to unconsciousness. She also needs to consciously be aware of everything she is affecting with the illusion, otherwise she will make mistakes and the target might realize what is happening. Number 6. Pure Nikos Semblance Polarity Pyrrha's ability to control magnetic forces has nearly limitless applications, and her clever use of weaving this into a fighting style has created her unbeatable persona, but she has also displayed the ability to use it in mass, the results of which have been quite disastrous. However, in a world where most weapons are made of some form of metal, her, her ability is considered one of the most, if not the most, versatile. Number 5. The Schnee Family Semblance Glyphs The only known hereditary semblance, warriors in the Schnee family have the ability to create glyphs, all of whom have a variety of uses, from time dilation to summoning slain enemies. The uses of the semblance are vast, making it exceptionally powerful and adaptive to the warrior's particular fighting style. Without a doubt, it is one of the most powerful semblances shown in the series so far. Number 4. Tox Semblance. 60 seconds or tick. The ability gives her a brief period, approximately 60 seconds, of invulnerability. While this ability is extremely useful, after 60 seconds it is deactivated and she once again becomes vulnerable, making it also extremely risky. This ability allows her to engage in reckless behavior, charging into strikes that she know will not have any effect on her. This lets her branch the gap in skill considerably. However, when compared with her already exceptional talent, this semblance becomes truly deadly. Not only does she appear to be completely invulnerable, but strikes against her appear to have a repulsory effect where whatever was inbound towards her is blown away. Number 3. 
Adam's semblance, Moon Slice. Adam has an ability similar to Yang's, though where she absorbs damage by being beaten, Adam merely needs to absorb it through his blade, at which point he can store it and unleash it at will. This ability allows him to stack a massive amount of damage and release it in one go, or create torrents of energy with the slashes of his sword, most of which are capable of bypassing aura through the amount of damage they contain. Adam's ability when combined with his fighting style becomes one deadly to hunters and huntresses, as he can easily slice through weapons and aura and people. Number 2. Yang Semblance, I Burn I Burn can easily be considered one of the most powerful semblances showcased thus far in the series. Through its usage, Yang is able to stack the damage she's received thus far, and use it to power herself up significantly. This makes the semblance excellent for late game play and allows Yang to branch gaps in skill with considerable ease. However, Yang is often at a disadvantage when fighting more agile opponents as her inability to land a hit causes her to become frustrated, her anger being directly linked to the activation of the semblance. Number 1. Glenda Goodwitch's Semblance Telekinesis No semblance goes underappreciated more, as Glenda's ability to casually hurl debris or clear a demolished food court in seconds. It is presumed that her ability is difficult to use for extended periods of time, as seen by her exhaustion at trying to repair Beacon, only to have the structure fall apart. However, the scale and usage of her ability, as well as the applications, are nearly infinite. This could be due to the early writing actually including not semblances, but magic itself, with Glinda Goodwitch obviously having a large repertoire of magic. However, later on it was stated that it was, in fact, just a semblance. This means that Glinda Goodwitch holds the most powerful, if not the most powerful, semblance in Ruby. Honorable Mentions Crow's semblance, Bad Luck Charm, is a strange ability. He never consciously activates it, and it is always active. This sets it apart from many semblances displayed in the series so far, as it is not one that can be trained or practiced with, it is just always in effect. However, it was later stated on that Crow can amplify his ability. Bad Luck Charm influences causality, manipulating phenomenon and quite literally causing bad luck to everyone that is around Crow. It is useful in fights, as his opponents will run into a spit of bad luck every now and then, but it will also influence any allies nearby indiscriminately. Since this semblance is particularly unique, I don't really consider it in a power scale as it is more of an effect. It's one that quite literally affects laws that govern the universe. It is not quite one that can be scaled in power. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like. If you liked it a lot, leave a comment. If you hate it, leave a comment. Let me know why. Would you have ranked them differently? Is there semblances I missed?